Okay, so now we're factoring number 16 here. Again, we recognize that this here is A is equals to the ugly inside. So we have this question being, can you factor 2A squared minus 5A minus 3? This is simply trinomial factoring. And we haven't done the rainbow method for a while, so why don't we try to just use it again since we could guess and check, but let's just try this. So two times negative three is negative six. So we have, we're not gonna write equal. This is not really equal. This is just tri a trick. We have a squared minus five a minus six. We're gonna factor normally a a. We have negative six plus one is the normal way of factoring. And we're gonna divide by the coefficient two. You simplify your life, so you can say now that this is equals to a minus three because negative six divided by two is negative three. And you're promoted once you simplify your life. So you at the bottom, now you're the manager, you're the boss, you're the owner. Here you go. So we factored it, great. And we also remember that a is sine theta. So we're gonna write this as, let's use nice big brackets. This is sine theta minus three, and this is two times sine theta plus one. So this here is the new expression in factored form. Now let's try question number 17. It looks a bit strange, but hopefully you recognize that this here is difference of squares. This question is the same thing as e to the x all squared because you multiply the exponents. x times 2 is the same thing as 2x minus 25, which is the same thing as 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, and this is clearly a difference of squares. So just write out the brackets. It's going to be the first guy is e to the x times e to the x is e to the x all squared plus and minus the square root of 5 squared is 5. The square root of 25 is just 5. So if plus 5 minus 5, and we factor this expression. Let's try this last question, just practicing our factoring skills. Let's try to find the area of this shaded region. We know this is a circle, and the large radius is going to be x, which is the inner radius, plus 2 more. 2 more units. So the area of the shaded is equals to the area of the large circle minus the area of the hollow white circle. We'll just call it a small circle. Essentially, the area of the shaded is pi capital R squared, that's the big radius, minus pi little r squared. So this is a formula that people learn from a young age. So the big radius happens to be x plus two more units. And the little radius of the circle is simply x. And now we see two terms here, and we should factor out what's common. And the common factor is a pi. So let's factor out a pi. Pi times x plus 2 squared becomes the first term, and pi times negative x squared, you feed the dog, you feed the cat, becomes the second term. So when you look at the inside part of the brackets here, try to recognize this is actually a squared minus x squared, which can be factored using difference of squared, and this a value happens to be x plus 2. So let's keep on going. This is going to be bracket bracket. It's going to be your a value, which is x plus two. And you're gonna repeat it twice because it's gonna be a plus and minus the square root of x squared is x, difference of squares. So there's a lot of steps here. This is good factoring practice, but you have to try to keep on going. We have x plus two plus x is 2x plus 2, x minus x disappears, 
but the two remains. Let's throw this two and multiply it by pi. So this is two pi. And now let's focus on this part here. So really focus on the two x plus two. The two x plus two, you can factor out a two. So we're gonna factor out that two and we're gonna write x plus one because when you feed the dog and feed the cat, you get the equivalent expression here. Finally, what's two times two? We have four, four times pi. This pi came from over here. Bracket x plus one is the answer of the shaded region in fully factored form. Okay, so now it's your turn. Find the area of the shaded in fully factored form.